Hello Internet, I'm Guy. Today I'm working on this weird clock that displays time by flashing an image on magnetic viewing film, which you can see in the green part of the center of this image. So what I have to do is machine a pattern to make it look interesting, and that's the focus of this video. The concept for this clock is to show time on this magnetic film that allows you to see magnetic fields from a magnet. This is a very powerful magnet here, so I can move this around and turn it face in like that. And it shows the magnetic fields in greens and blues and yellows. So we're going to use an electromagnet like this. This is a small prototype that I am working with right now. And so if I turn on the power, you can see these consecutive rings that show up. And what we want to do, and the reason I did this little prototype ring, is we want to evoke the idea of a clock face. So this uh, will have 12 hole positions here, and then when it's sitting on the magnet like that, now you get a much more interesting pattern. It looks a bit like a clock because there are these 12 positions. So what I'm going to be doing today is taking a bigger electromagnet and machining this circle for real. This is just a prototype test and it's a little ragged. So I got a nicer piece of metal and stay with me, it's going to be an interesting journey to make this. I've got the electromagnet mounted up on the lathe, you can see the label here. And I've got a little cutter head, so I'm going to start surfacing off the stainless steel surfaces here and here first. Then we'll dig in and surface this area in here. This is the cast um, epoxy. So uh, let's get started here. Take it nice and slow to create a nice finished surface. Okay, so now I'm going to come in and surface out some of that epoxy. Establish a depth here at the lowest spot right there. There we go. You can hear it's chattering because it is uneven, so this is going to be leveling it out for sure. I'm going to bump up against the metal there, go a little bit deeper, come back across a little bit deeper. You can still hear it's kind of chattering a little bit. So this is definitely going to be leveling it out. Alright, stop and have a look here. Oh yeah, see it was really on out of level here. I don't know what this material is. I hope I don't hit the copper windings, but I'm, I'm getting awfully close here. I'm going to have to tidy up this metal surface a little bit too, but very, getting very close here. That's good enough. Okay, I'm just going to tidy up everything now, so I'm going to back off the cutter and resurface this area here. the center again. Actually, I'm going to switch to a different cutter that will make a light, nicer finish. This cutter will dig in closer to the center there. So, let's see. Bring that in. Right to there. Right. That's up against the metal. Looking good. Okay, so this looks great. This surface and this surface are completely congruent with each other, and this depth I can calibrate to whatever depth is necessary for the um, washers or whatever we want to call them that will go in there, and they will glue in flat right onto that surface. So this seems to be a good solution. So over on the milling machine, I've got my Touch DRO set up on the left side of my machine. And what I need to do is set up a circle pattern. So I'm going to punch that button right there. Set the radius, which I happen to have as 1.033. So it's 1, 
point is way over here. O oh, three three. Yes. Oh, set inches, which has thrown me off in the past. Number of holes, twelve holes, and angle. That one is going to be thirty, and then this one is going to be uh, three hundred and sixty. Okay. So create that. Now I'm going to jump in over here, and I can see my set of circles here. This, this is where all the hole centers will be. And I can then click on circle number one. It highlights it in green. So now I just have to move to position. Now, incidentally, I bought this tablet and the magnetic scales from Little Machine Shop. So this came fully uh, loaded on the Android tablet. So that saved me all the work of having to figure out how to do that. And then the magnetic scale kit came as a one meter length that I cut to length. Um, that was very easy to do and they're very easy to install. Okay, so now I'm going to drive to position. So I'm going to unlock my... I'm centered right now. My, my machine is dead centered. So I'm going to drive over to here and here. I'm using the motor on my uh, x-axis here. So now I can look at the numbers up on the right. I'm looking at this to start with, and then I'm looking at the numbers over here on the right, and I'm going to zero those in as close as I can. Close enough here. All right, one more. There we go. And then I'm going to ease in over here. That's close enough. Lock that down. And I'm going to go ahead and start drilling. first hole. So now I've got to move to the second hole, so I'm going to click over here, and so it goes. So let's see, I need to move uh, this way, roughly, and lock that axis, or actually close it up a little bit. Okay, and unlock the other axis, and, oh, wrong way, not intuitive. All right, that's close enough. Lock that down and drill the next hole and so on. Okay, last hole. So let's see, I'm going to move over to number 12 here. And looking at that top right number, zero that out right there. And creep up on, oops, wrong direction. That one right there. That looks very close. I'm just going to whack the table a little bit and get it in there. Okay. A little encouragement with a rubber hammer is all it takes. So I forgot to go back to center. So I'm going to do that now because I need a center hole as well that I'm going to bore out quite substantially. It's right on the center, which it is, so here we go. Okay, so that's all the primary holes. I'm going to have to bore this big hole out here in the center for the electromagnet, so it'll ride over the raised bump in the electromagnet. And then I'm going to have to cut all this off here and probably spin it up on a lathe and cut that. Okay, so now I have to open the holes up, so I'm going to use my step drill and go in a couple of holes. I don't want to go all the way through my half-inch MDF, so I'm just going to go two steps here. So I'm going to go around all of these and open them up. This one's going to get drilled all the way out with step drills as close to this as I can get before I bore it out. So, here we go. Taking it slow. <laughs> my belt slipping. Yep, I'm going to have to tighten that belt a little bit first. Okay, let's try that again. That's a good start. So now I have to go find the other holes. And so I'm going to go right over to here. Uh, this one would be Oh, it's interesting. He didn't put numbers over here, which is a shame. So I'm going to assume that's number three. Let's see if that works out. 
Yes, it is. How about that? Okay. All right, so zero this out. And drive that one. That's exactly where I want to be. Okay. Next hole. All right, lock that sucker down. Oh, that's a little bit off. Let me just whack it. Let's see. There we go. It's getting a little warm, but it's working. Okay, that's the last hole here. So. Now, uh, rather than trying to go deeper with this and not get the whole diameter that I want, which is just over a half inch if they were to butt up against each other, but I don't want them to do that. I want to have a little room between them to create the magnetic field effect that, I want, uh, that I'm looking for here. So I'm going to go up one more drill size um, using my regular drill set. I'm not really sure what speed to run this drill at to, so that it doesn't wander, but um, Staying in the same hole center, I'm going to now just start up a little slow and see what happens. Ooh, that's a little noisy. Well, happiness is a sharp drill bit. That should work just fine. Let me go to the second hole location and see if it makes sense. And here we go. Yeah, that spacing right there is what I'm looking for. I'll have to uh, chamfer off those holes a little bit, but that is what the pattern looks like. That's what I want it to look like in the magnetic field there. So, continuing on. Okay, I've got this mounted up on some one, two, three blocks so I can bore all the way through. I'm gonna go all the way through to three quarter inch diameter and then bring in the big guns here. And this one happens to have a step at 1 and 5 16 which is the whole size that I'm shooting for. And you see I've marked it in red so I can see it go down and not forget where I'm going when I'm boring that in. But the first thing I have to do now is uh, get centered up here. So a little of this, a little of that, and then drop it in and find concentricity again. So a little bit further that way. That feels pretty good. Okay, I'm going to lock those axes down and bore this hole out. Get some cutting fluid. All right, running fairly slow. big boy drill. Okay, this is going to be fun. Let's hope my machine is up to this. Going about 500 RPM. little easier than I thought. I guess my other drill bit was a little duller than I thought too. So clear the chips and keep going.
yeah. Just low enough to chamfer it. Okay, over to the lathe, and I've got it chucked up in the three jaw. I think I've lost a little concentricity. Let's see. You can see my line. Maybe you can see it right there, and I'm, I'm wiggling around it a little bit, but I can deal with it. So let's see what happens if I can cut this out and then uh, cut it oversized a little bit and then work down to it. Right about there, and let's see what happens. Oh yeah, that's going to work just fine. Okay, well that got it. I'm sorry I missed it on camera. It was an exciting moment. Get this hot piece of metal out of the way and we can continue to clean up that outside edge now. Okay, now I just need to reduce that diameter by a little bit. So I've got the edge of this cutter lined up to make a nice parallel cut on that edge. Let's see how this works out. Got it. Okay. So I've got some edges here to take off. Yeah, I think that's deburred enough. I'm going to flip it over and deburr the back, and we're good. And that drops in there just perfectly. I'm very pleased with that. In fact, it's so slightly out of round that if I turn it, it'll just lock in, which is a, a nice feature. I think I'll probably glue it in eventually. But uh, that works for me. So I have the magnet mounted inside this prototype case, and it'll be painted eventually. But now you can see it's blinking. So it'll blink the full pattern for every hour. So this is four hours here, coming up. And now it'll show the minutes with a slightly reduced intensity pattern. So this will be blinking for every five minutes. So 5, 10, 15, and 20. The final thing will look like this. And I haven't finished this yet. I haven't done the electronics. But I will show you that when I complete it in another video. Thanks for watching. Thank you.